when a patient presents with a stage three lung cancer that's been newly diagnosed, there are a few key things we want to make sure are happening. One is to really be thorough with the staging. So in the U.S., we're almost always getting a PET scan. Usually we'll get a brain MRI. Uh, consider doing um, endobronchial evaluation, mediastinoscopy. You really want to determine if those mediastinal nodes are involved and be clear that it's truly stage three and not more advanced. And also to really ask that question around surgical uh, feasibility. And that really should be done in the context of a multidisciplinary tumor board. So with this particular case, that's all been done. They did all the right imaging. He was evaluated in a multidisciplinary group. And then they took it a couple extra steps beyond. So it's not necessarily standard of care to do mutational analysis for EGFR and ALK in a patient who's going through concurrent chemo radiation. But having that information is helpful to better understand the tumor predict a little bit some of the behaviors and also to help a little bit with guidance on therapy. It's not going to change the chemotherapy. You're still going to pick chemotherapy and, and do that concurrently with your radiation. And it turns out it's not really going to change your choice about whether or not to give dervalumab. That ended up not being significant in the trial, in the Pacific trial. Patients who had mutations seemed to benefit, um, maybe not quite as much, but certainly benefiting from their dervalumab as others did. So. Knowing that information is really more to know it as opposed to really be treatment changing, but I think having that whole package, all of the imaging, knowing the mutation status, knowing pdl one status, all of those things are, are somewhat useful. I would have liked to see, and hopefully this was part of his care, he is still actively smoking, and so we need to consider smoking cessation. We do know that patients who are actively smoking don't do as well during concurrent chemo radiation and in the long term. Uh, they're at higher risk for some infections and complications during the chemo radiation, and obviously their risk of recurrence and of having other complications is higher if they, they don't quit. So I would want to emphasize that.